Good evening everyone. Here is a nice riddle that Siddharameshwar ji places before us. In order that the disciple should understand, the Sadguru has placed various riddles before him that have to be solved. The first is, why is the face of a knower not seen in the mirror? The second is, why does the knower have no shadow? And the third is, go to the market but don't use your feet and bring a mango from there but don't touch it. Look to see if it is good or rotten but don't use your eyes. Smell it to see if it is sweet or sour but don't smell with your nose. Eat the mango but don't taste the juice with your tongue. Within these riddles is the understanding of knowledge. Now, Siddharameshwar Maharaj then goes on to explain this. He says, The face seen in the mirror and the shadow that falls on the ground belongs to the body. When the first and second riddles have been solved, then this understanding is the experience of knowledge. The Guru has told that within the third riddle, the action relating to the mango should not be done by the hands, feet, nose, mouth and eyes. This means that the organs are inanimate, but it is I only that sits in these organs and performs the action of oneness. If in every action one experiences oneself only, then one is able to eat the mango according to how the Guru has instructed. One Guru, in order to determine how much knowledge his disciples had imbibed, asked some of the more dispassionate disciples to eat a mango without using the tongue. Some gave the mango straight back and said it was not possible to eat it without using the tongue and others consumed the mangoes. When asked how they had eaten without the tongue, they answered, The poor gross tongue, how can it taste? If it tastes, then even the tongue of a corpse would taste the mango. It is our knowingness that sits in the tongue that tastes and understands. On hearing this, the Guru commended them with a pat on the back. So as we can see in this entire narration, Maharaj is pointing to the beingness, the consciousness, without which the body is dead matter. as simple as that. And this became Nisargata Maharaj's Abide in Your Beingness and it became Ramesh Ji's Me with the absence of doership. This is a passage that we can end this podcast on. Siddha Rameshwar Ji says, It is said, even if you don't go to anyone's marriage, you should at least go to the funerals. For there is great merit in that. What is the real meaning of this statement? Marriage means one becomes two. It is the time when one comes into duality. 
to go to the funeral means to be placed in the dirt. Then even the oneness is dissolved and only non-duality remains. Therefore, non-duality is the merit. I hope you enjoyed this reading of Siddharameshwar Maharaj's quotations and I look forward to sharing more of them with you. Thank you.